Econ 101 taught me that high risk is rewarded with high gain, meaning people who risk the most should be paid the most. Sounds fair, doesn't it? Then why are professionals like loggers, miners, and roofers paid the way they are? Many blue collar jobs like these pay only slightly over minimum wage. That means the owners are either keeping all the profits or there isn't much to begin with. Let's see what a roofing company is worth. Hi, I'm Bharat Kanodia. I am here to teach you the secrets of valuations so that you can use them to maximize the value of your business. Being a roofer is one of the most dangerous jobs anywhere. Imagine dangling 100 feet in the air without a harness, carrying heavy tiles and measuring alignments. That's what roofers do 8 to 10 hours every day. To me, they are the gladiators of the American construction industry. There are over 100,000 roofing companies in America making $45 billion annually and employing 260,000 people. There are three trends pushing this ancient skill into the future. One, new materials. Roofs used to be made from mud, palm fraud, wood, clay. Technology has evolved to give us materials like shingle, metal, solar, and green and cool roofs. Contractors proficient and new roof techniques always have an advantage. Two, technology. Technology is always the trend. Surprised? New software helps roofers communicate through multiple job assignments and manage direct labor and materials on site. Customers can also communicate with crew and there's even translation technology to assist with bilingual workers. Drones help roofers conduct safer inspections, measurements, quality checks, and take fantastic pictures for websites and showings. Three, customer satisfaction. Online reputation affects our day-to-day -day lives. Customer word of mouth and online reviews are a great source of recurring business. Good roofing companies take the lead on all aspects of the job, including permit approvals and plans, materials, daily disposal and cleanup, and even the what ifs that come up on all jobs. Rule of thumb. Tell me if you've heard any of these before. You should use nails, not staples, to secure a shingle. You should never have a new roof installed over the old one. No fewer than four nails should be used per shingle. These are more guidelines than rules that you can use to extend the life of your roof. Roofing companies can sell anywhere between 0.2 to 0.3x on their annual revenue or two to four times SDE, plus fair value of any of the tangible assets. There are four levers that you can use to maximize the value of your roofing company. One, referral network. The average life of a roof is 15 to 20 years. With upcoming materials and technology, that number could almost double, which means you have to find new customers daily. But how? What if you can make your customers your advocates? Thriving businesses grow from customer referrals. If your neighbor talks about a good roofing company, you will hire them. Two, trained employees. Multi-talented employees that are skilled on different types of projects are a key asset. Long-term, loyal employees will keep business running smoothly and spread goodwill in the communities you serve. Three, insurance and liability. Insurance costs and liability claims are big burdens, but not if you manage them well. Consider working with two or three insurance brokers and regularly reevaluate your insurance costs. If you have a pending liability claim, sort it quickly and quietly. Keep your employees and long-term benefit of your stakeholders in mind. Four, online presence. Up your virtual game. Showcase your work. 
develop customer testimonials, read every online review, and respond to their feedback. Managing your online reputation is a marathon, so start today. Roofing companies gain the credibility over time. It is most crucial for a roofing company less than 10 years old to continue to build on their reputation. The real wins come when customers purchase the second roof from you. Is your business there yet? Thanks for watching.